So I have been working on solar trailer version 2. Actually, it's almost done. So I have to yet tell the story. Solar trailer version 1 is there. All the solar on my house. But a lot has happened that I didn't have a lot of time to commit to the project. And that is that I got struck with lightning and I'm still picking up the pieces. I don't know if this was hit with lightning or it went in the ground and I don't know. <laughs> On the other side of this is just a small breaker box. One breaker for the lower, one breaker for the upper floor. And this is partially to blame. Going up, this is all storage where Hannah keeps all her stuff from California. But I mean, it's like the tree blew up. And then over here, I don't know if it hit that big tree or just this little one. <clears throat> I don't know how many strikes we had either. Oh, that's just a branch. Oh, that's the culprit. Let me set this down. This tree got hit. And somehow made this blow up. And I think it was more than one strike because I have a uh, light switch blown off the wall and two inverters that died. I have to test all that other equipment to see if it'll work. So this was a plug that I had a even a cable in to uh, allow me to open and close the garage door wirelessly or over an app. That's the router that was there also. So yes, I'm still picking up the pieces. So I'm going to show you more about the solar trailer two build. I'll whet your appetite. It hit, it has a, uh, EG, 6000 XP in it, uh, two batteries that got blown up I rehabbed, just put a new BMS on it and threw it in a waterproof case, and it has a new type of camper that you just set on a trailer for boondocking. So my goal is I want to go on a trip and see if I can capture the solar and charge my Tesla on the go. It charges my Tesla. Oh well, check back. I'll have episode two up in a couple days.